Southeastern Minnesota's only youth homeless shelter says it's constantly turning away kids in need because of limited bed capacity. Located in Rochester, 180 Degrees says the organization hasn't been able to assist more than 100 teens since 2022. That's where we find KIMT News Story's Brandon Cote. And Brandon, how can Minnesota lawmakers step in and take action against youth homelessness this year? Well, Jess, 180 Degrees is looking to secure over $10 million in state funding to remodel the homeless shelter right behind me. And this is to ensure that no kids or teenagers across the region are left at night without a bed and are given a safe space to lay their head. Not every youth needs shelter, but when they do, we really need to have a bed for them. Rochester's 180 Degrees Youth Homeless Shelter says it's turned away almost 150 kids last year because of limited bed capacity. And that shouldn't happen. That should not be why kids are turned away from a shelter because we don't have space. Sitting on 10 acres of land, CEO Dan Farr tells me facility upgrades are necessary to avoid bed shortages for teens in need. I believe it's always been the ideal location to serve Rochester as well as the surrounding counties. Jeremy O'Hara, who started working there three years ago, also believes renovating the nearly a century old building is a must. We're standing in this room right now, kind of crammed wall to wall. I mean, yep. how how do you think it would really benefit to add more rooms? Yeah, definitely. I think that's one thing the youth continuously tell us is, is how they, they appreciate the shelter. They appreciate the opportunity to be here and, and be like they always appreciate the staff as well. But the environment itself really isn't inclusive to what we're, what we're trying to provide for them. The plan is to expand the shelter from 8 to 12 beds. As you might be able to tell from the room, it's, it's cramped, like you said. Um, there's brick walls. It doesn't look like the most inviting space. That extra room would allow kids at the facility the necessary space and time to reestablish relationships with their families. Sometimes we don't see the, the positives that come out of it. We don't see the, the whole story. It might just be like a, a short stay for them on their, on their journey to recovery or, or to reunifying with their families. To meet those goals, 180 Degrees needs around $10 million in state funding. I think the shelter provides an opportunity for youth to kind of reset. O'Hara says working with the kids is like planting seeds of hope. If you do one little thing that makes an impact for them, and if you don't see it now, it might be a couple months or it might be a couple years before they really realize that and that seed begins to flourish. Um, but for what, that's what gives me hope. Some of the amenities the shelter is looking to add with the state funding is a counseling center, a donation center, and a mobile case management team to reach rural areas throughout southeastern Minnesota. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Brandon, for that in-depth report. If the shelter receives enough funding from the state, 180 degrees plans to begin construction in July.